What's up guys, DRock1992 here. For this next video, and for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing a movie that, I, uh, that came out this year, early on this year, in March, uh, that I recently saw about a week ago. And that movie is the Liam Neeson film, Run All Night. Run All Night uh, has four major players in the movie. Liam Neeson, as I mentioned, he's the main guy. This is a Liam Neeson movie with supporting performances by Joel Kinnaman, Common, and Ed Harris. So they're the four main players I'll be talking about during this review. Uh, the major people. Uh, and so... Let's get into what the movie's about. Excuse me. I'm tired. Uh, let's get into what the film's about. So, Liam Neeson plays this mob boss. This former mob boss. Uh, or mob enforcer is what he's called. A, mo a former mob enforcer who's called the Grave Digger because... Let's just say he kills a he kills a lot of people. He he wastes a lot of people, basically, as uh, mob people would say. He wastes a lot of people, and uh, as I think mob people would say, anyway, he, he kills a lot of people, and so he's a former mob boss, and. He's haunted by what he's done in the past. He's a changed man, kind of. He's, yeah, he's pretty much a changed man. He doesn't want to kill anymore. And he's haunted by the fact that he did kill a lot of people. His son, played by Joel Kinnaman, is estranged from him because Joel Kinnaman's disgusted by his father's actions. Joel Kinnaman's character is disgusted by his actions, doesn't want anything to do with him. Uh, the mob enforcer, Liam Neeson's character, is uh, friends with uh, a mob boss played by Ed Harris. Uh, who They're good friends, they grew up together, they are in the mob together. But anyway, Liam Neeson's character kills Ed Harris's character's son. And... Ed Harris doesn't take too kindly to that. So, he calls out a hit on Joel Kinnaman, uh, Liam Neeson's character's son, uh, played by Joel Kinnaman. So, Liam Neeson and, so Liam Neeson has to kick ass again and has to save his son from being killed at the hands of the mob he once was in. Basically. So... That is basically the plot of the film. It's a pretty simple plot to follow. Definitely a very simple plot to follow. Uh, it's an action film for sure. It definitely is. Uh, first of all, let's get into the performances. The four major performances. Uh, Liam Neeson. He does a good job in this movie. He really does. He makes that character his own. And the character he plays, he makes that character his own, and he does a good job in the film. He's, um, you know, you believe him. He, he brings a believability to the role, definitely, even if it's not the best acted of roles. You know, he doesn't really have to, to show his acting, show all of his acting chops in this movie. He just has to kind of be what he was in Taken, basically. This movie's very similar to Taken. It really is. You know, father who, you know, absentee father, you know, has to save his kid, basically. In Taken, it was saving his daughter. Um, in Taken, Taken 2, it's saving his ex-wife, you know. So, so it's kind of similar. And Run All Night, he has to save his son. So, now let's get, speaking of son, let's get to Joel Kinnaman. 
And um, I thought Joel Kinnaman was decent in the role. I, I thought he was... Um, I thought he did his job. He was very serviceable. Common. Uh, Common did not speak a lot of... Common, of course, is a rapper. He's most known for rap. But he's gotten into movies as well. I really like Common in this role. He didn't say much, but he didn't have to say much. His role, uh, he was a creepy type of uh, contract killer. Uh, a creepy uh, contract killer who um, ha is going to hunt down Joel Kinnaman and kill him, basically. Because Ed Harris's character hires him to do that. But I thought Common does a great it does a great job in this movie. But the biggest character, the one who stole the show in this movie, not Liam Neeson, not Common, but Ed Harris. I really think he stole the show. He was spectacular in his role as the mob boss, as the villain, basically, major villain. You know, he really was spectacular. Um I really liked his performance. It was, uh, it was very good. You believed him in the role. And Ed Harris is a veteran anyway. He has been an actor for a long time. He's been in a lot of he's been in a lot of films. Definitely. So it's not like it's his first rodeo or anything, basically. Some other players in the movie, uh, some other smaller players, actually is the son. Uh, the son who gets killed at the hands of Liam Neeson's character, played by Boyd Holbrook. Uh, let's see. Um, Genesis Rodriguez. I've heard the name. She plays, uh, Liam Neeson's, uh, uh wife, I believe. Or, Liam Neeson's character's daughter-in-law. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, uh, he plays a detective in the film, the main detective. Uh, and Nick Nolte. Uh, Nick Nolte's been an actor for a long time. He's in an uncredited role as the brother of, uh, Liam Neeson's character. So, yeah, I, um, my opinion of the film... I really enjoyed this film. I really, really liked this film. It was good. It was believable. You know, it, it was just a nice little... It was just a nice action movie. I am a big fan of action films, as you may well know. Action and comedy. Action is definitely one of my tops. And... I really enjoyed this film. It was just... Uh, it, I mean, Liam Neeson, just good as ever in the film. Ed Harris stole the show for me. Uh, Common was very good. Joel Kinnaman, pretty serviceable performance. So overall, I give this a 5 out of 5 stars. I really found no issues with the movie. Could Joel Kinnaman have been better, maybe, as, uh, as uh, the son? Maybe, but I'm not holding it against him. I think he did a serviceable job. But yeah, Run All Night is a 5 out of 5 for me. I really enjoyed the film. It's a must-watch for me, again, definitely. And uh, it was a great experience. Uh, so that is it for this video on Run All Night. DRock1992, out.